Here I have a spline and I have a t-shirt uh, geometry. I want to project the spline onto the t-shirt geometry. So to do that, I'll use the uh, projection deformer. So hold shift and select the text spline and then go to deformers and choose projection deformer. The projection deformer has to be behind the text so it projects, uh, it's going to be able to project the spline onto the geometry. So now we need to put uh, the t-shirt geometry into the target tag and then you'll see that the uh, spline is immediately projected onto the geometry. You can control the strength of the projection. You can offset the uh, spline from the surface of the geometry. If you go uh, to the side, you'll see that's what ha what's happening. And you can choose which axis you're uh, projecting on. Let's put this back to zero. In this case, we are projecting on the Z axis. Now there are two modes of projection. One is the projection parallel, and the other one is directional. The directional one allows you to project from an angle. So uh, depending on where your uh, projection deformer is, this is how it looks if you pull it back and then move the, uh, the projection deformer. This is uh, how the projection happens. It depends on your angle of view. Let's put it back to parallel. You can also use fields with uh, the projection deformer. Let's change. Let's uh, use the linear field. Uh, this will control when, uh, where the uh, projection will start. So let's make it smaller, and then you'll see now the projection happens as the uh, field moves through uh, the spline.